The main feature of the mollusk is that it's got area in the nose, um, it's got a low nose entry, there's a little bit of tail rocker and in association with the round tail that lets you sort of tighten the pocket if you need to. But the lower nose entry, wider nose, helps you glide onto the wave easily and gives you a platform to jump to your feet. It's got the low soft rail but it's a little chunkier. Um, the nose, even though it's thinner this year, it's still got a reasonable amount of volume to the nose tip. The tail is a little bit thicker towards the tail. The concave is single to double. It's a fairly basic concave formation. Combined with the, the fact that it's shorter, wider, flatter nose entry, you get good down the line speed, but you can carve on the face like a normal board. So it's kind of interesting mix. The mollusk also comes as a mollusk robo, and basically that's just a drawn out mollusk. Uh, you might want to surf that if you're a bigger guy in particular, or you're older, or you're an average surfer, even a beginner, it's a good option. Um, or you haven't been in the surf for a while and you're just coming back to the sport, then the mollusk robo is not a bad option. You surf that kind of like six inches to 18 inches longer than your normal board or the board you had before you had the break from surfing. And the main difference with the Mollus and the Mollus Robo, apart from the fact that the Mollus Robo is really big, is that it's got a V through the tail on the bottom. Same single up here to the double there, but the V is in the back half of the board and this allows you to get the bigger board from rail to rail, so it's still a reasonable amount of performance in the Mollus Robo.